okay guys okay guys uh finally 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 hit to 5k subscribers so i'd like to take this moment to thank everyone who's been with me for a very long time to the new guys who just subscribed to everyone who's watching the videos that i do i really appreciate it guys thank you a lot thank you a lot thank you a lot so i'm sure some of you will be wondering what are we doing this time once we get to 5k subscribers because i always do something when i get to each milestone so if you want to know what the ones i'm doing it this time around just check out the end of the video i'm sure i'll explain everything what we'll be doing this time around but for now let's just do what we always do best let's get back to the music let's check out a project which i did yeah well it's been some time since we've done some music i've been talking a lot these days <laughs> so guys yeah i have a project which is a bit afro yeah, I think it's Afro Afro project. It's a bit groovy, yeah, it's a bit dance-ish, but it's not that high tempo. I, I call it up high tempo. I just love this kind of feel of groove of Afro house, especially these days, because it's more of the modern type of sound that we usually listen to. So let's first check out a kick cam and an LA progression, the bass, because I just start with the kick and the bass. Now, right from the first time you hear that, you, you can feel it has that type of groove vibe. You can dance to it. That's the song for the dance floor. That's that's how I wanted to approach it. I think uh, having to do a lot of syncopation usually helps square the theme and the groove, especially with Afro house. So this bass is a why did this unison bass go expand to? I talked about this plugin a long time ago. I asked you guys to buy it. So the next thing I have here. Also, the same plugin is this pad. So these are my keys. Now, now what I like about this pad is actually how it sounds here up here at the beginning. There's like some kind of pitch band if you can hear it. There's, there's the sound it um, then it concludes like really dope. I loved it. <laughs> still love it a lot so i have this type of progression as time goes by having the pad also yeah so that's what i start with and then as we progress i also have this pad from this complicated plugin i don't even know what's the name of this fp whatever don't even know how I caught it, but I was just experimenting with this. Yeah, what I like about this type of pad is like it's kind of moving around, even though it, I don't do anything to it. I just added this, I just added low P, but the sounds just keep moving around. Just pump it up a bit. Yes, then so with it, I have something like that. You know. Yeah, and it doesn't do much, but it kind of adds a different texture to the pet that I already have. And I, I kind of feel it a bit. And then next, I have this percussion here, which is the bongo. Don't think I've processed this that much. So I'm just going to have a, add a little reverb here. Turn it a bit to the left. So this adds a lot of rhythm. It just it sounds like a layer to the bass that I already have and it, it, it grew the background. Yeah, so that's why I wanted to keep the track very, very simple. I wanted the track to be very, very simple. And uh, how I imagined it at the beginning is that the track would kind of have a vocalist which would like take the track over the edge because I didn't want to do much of a progression. You can see there's not much of a change in progressions, just straight lines. So that's why, but uh, 
the trick is about this. You have to know how to build up the track if you're not going to change the sounds. There has to be a sense of progression to the listener and everything has to happen. So that's kind of like the main challenge. Yeah. So next I have this pad here. I don't know how many times I have to talk about this pad. I always use this pad. I'm sure everyone knows by now. And then I have this synth which kind of acts as a, a melody or a pigeon or something. That type of groove. And then with both of these, there's this type of sound now. Now, as you listen to the track, you can feel the track progressing a lot more as we're comparing what we have here in the beginning, which was just a bass and a kick. Now we have a synth, we have a pads, and we have ne 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 bongos. So here I just added a shake I am, and then I have uh, another shaker here. So this one too, as you can feel, is sort of a layer quick everything that I already have. This shaker and I introduce it at the same time with this e shaker here, yeah, tambourine. So that, that this combo is like it's actually dope when it when it plays, yeah. So let's. <laughs> can definitely feel how the track has progressed but there's not much that i've added onto this track and here i have eclipse what's going on next i add eclipse now it's basically the same type of rhythm it just adds as a layer the same technique i've been doing with the shaker and nala bongo yeah it's just the shakers afterwards <laughs> Yeah, and then now I feel like I should like do something which will kind of give the track movement an easy. So I decided to add. Ah, that's the hat that I added here. And then I introduced. Just a simple FL keys. So that key at the bottom like kind of does something. Maybe I should add a reverb nyana. I just want it to be kind of big. I want... Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. And then I have a, sh a second shaker also here. So let's listen to that. <laughs> And then I think uh, this is the last thing that I added up. And it's just another layer of bass line. Yeah. It's not that important, and I sound, I can say so. And then I just have, you know, a pad. Yeah, this pad, you know, is a bit high, high up. So definitely it will add a lot of movement to track here. And then I have a shaker too with this pad. So that's 
almost all that's like everything so you want to play now just want to play the whole thing and then you get to feel it once it gets to this point Okay, okay, okay. That's that's it. I hope you enjoyed the project, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, for what we'll be doing, 45k subscribers. I thought this time I should like kind of give everyone the chance who's been learning from the channel to showcase what they have been learning since they've started watching. So, what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm going to host a listening session probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, but very soon after this video drops. For you guys to send your tracks and we will be playing here for everyone i think i'll try and listen to each and every track and charge and give criticism maybe help where i can help so guys please send your tracks to ironic productions at gmail.com and make sure you title your track guys i've been saying this for a very long time title the email your title of the email should be a feedback session because We'll be doing a feedback session anyways. Title your email, feedback session. Title your track. Your artist name must be there. The song name must be there. And that's it. Doesn't matter. The track doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be a complete project. Just send the track through. I will listen and let you know what I think. But for now, thank you guys. Thank you for the support. Let's keep pushing. Salute.